Uh, I'm uh, Jeff Brewer, um, Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Marine Corps. I'm currently assigned as the Operations Officer for uh, 3rd MEF Information Group here at Camp Hansen, Okinawa. Uh, I think it's important to remember that what we did in uh, the Jungle Warfare Training Center was really the culmination of what the MIG had worked towards dating back to last October. Taking the MIG, making it more expeditionary, making it more useful to the MEF commander take our show, take it to the most austere environment we could, we could find here on, on the island. Meant to replicate taking the MIG off island uh, to do other things in other places out here in the Western Pacific. Then deployed the force as if we were getting on aircraft or getting on boats. Took our personnel uh, up to the northern part of Okinawa, established uh, our, our CIDR Expeditionary Control Node uh, in the jungle and then uh, did what we would uh, amount to a gun drill. Um, everyone's on a clock and we are, everyone's doing their, their bit to bring to life uh, the MIG in an austere environment. So the, the expeditionary control node concept that the MIG has developed and we've operationalized the concept over the last year is really the idea that on behalf of the MEF commander and his staff, we can assure his ability to command and control through the generation of an expeditionary control node. A mobile, survivable, agile uh, capability that can be mounted, mobilized, and moved wherever on this island you need to get to in order to increase survivability, enhance effectiveness, in austere environments. So in a jungle environment where it's hot, it's humid, it's raining more than likely, it could be windy. What the ECN gives you is a mobile element that's able to go out and move from place to place, sit down, establish, then displace, reestablish, do it uh, in a timely manner because you've got motorized assets that enable you. You're pushing information that commanders, decision makers need uh, in order to command and control their, their forces. That's what we enable the MEF commander to do. Kill change is a concept that the Joint Force has had for some time now, and it's the idea of, it, it's sort of a, a corollary to the OODA loop, which is you uh, have to orient on something, you sense something, you detect something in the operational environment. Once you sense it, you orient on it, you focus on it, you try to characterize it, you try to dress it up. Okay, what is this? What can it do? Where can it go? Uh, and then how does it do what it does and how does it get to where it's going? You put it before experts that have a little more awareness about what this is. And then making sense is really, okay, how can we as the U.S. military, we as the Marine Corps, how can we begin to address this thing that we've sensed? Uh, whether it's a, a, a vessel, whether it's an aircraft, whether it's a piece of terrain, whether it's a, a high value individual. And then once you've sensed, you've made sense, you can now facilitate action. How do we want to relate to this thing? Do we want to uh, try to influence what this thing is doing or what this thing we think is about to do? Do we want to disrupt that? Do we want to deny its ability to do that? What the MIG does is the MIG packages an ability to do all three of these things. A sense makes sense to facilitate action. We have sensors organic to us, but bring all of that awareness that those sensors bring, we can bring that to the MEF and allow the MEF to see the, the world uh, the way the Joint Force is. We have resident inside of the MIG, we have what we call information related capabilities. These are abilities to do things across, across domains, air, sea, land, cyber, informational. So things like psychological operations, uh, military information supportive operations, cyber, an ability to protect coalition networks. Um, all of this now gets to making sense, which is how do, how do, we, how do we interact with what's been sensed over here initially. We can make sense and then over here, facilitating action, if we have permissions and authorities, we can apply some of these organic information related capabilities for, for good for the joint force, or we can facilitate for the joint force because of our position out here in the Western Pacific. 
So C5ISRT is a, you, you think of C5, you think of computers, you think of command and control, you think of cyber, and then defending that network or utilizing that network. You move to the ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Um, but it's the ability to basically go after, surveil, or reconnoiter, and collect information, gather information that reduces uncertainty for commanders and decision makers. And then the T is targeting, applying energy to influence that target. So if you can operate here, if you can communicate here, um, and you can overcome it, more importantly, so that you can thrive and you can sustain yourself here, then you can do it anywhere. This is exportable all over the region. If you don't practice here, then when it's game time and you have to really put these, bring to bear what you say the MIG does in support of the MEF, uh, you gotta be able to deliver. So we wanna be able to legitimately go to the MEF commander and say, you need us to go to this austere site? Good, we've done it, we're practiced at this and we're ready to roll. Uh, the purpose of the MIG is to conduct in 21st century conflict with a peer competitor. You have to be able to wage war in ways that we heretofore we had not been required to do. When you're fighting against a peer adversary who have systems and capabilities that mirror ours, the idea of quickly orienting on something and then reducing it and dominating it is a, it's a completely different thing. So the Marine Corps created the MIG looking out into the future, recognizing that future war was going to be focused in a way that had not been envisioned in the information domain. Information warfare now is an imperative. Before you do anything else, or you certainly want to do anything else well, you got to have information dominance. Yeah, so the ICC is the Information Command Center. Think of it as a, uh, a, a combat ops center, like a COC, but we are more narrowly focused on the application of information-related capabilities and intelligence collection uh, operations. You know, we're, we're interested in who's doing what in the space here, in terms of at sea, in the air, uh, in the cyber domain, in space, et cetera.